Hey friends, it's Fenina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can see from the title of this video, it is gonna be another beauty vlog. And it is from another local brand, which is from Caroline. And this is Caroline's newest line, Caroline's line. It is the Blight Cosmetics and... Of course, kilala naman natin lahat kung sino si Blight, di ba? Blight is also known as Andrea Brillantes, which is Margo from Gadanang Ginto. So, alam niyo na kung bakit ko ito binili. If you are following me on Instagram, you would know sobrang fan ako ng Gadanang Ginto. Like, oh my god, Maureen. Um, it is actually my first time buying products from Caroline because before, I was actually considered on buying um, Caroline products. When I went to the department store, ang sabi sa akin ng ate don is if I have super sensitive skin daw, no no daw yung Caroline. And syempre natakot ako kasi nga sensitive skin ako and ayoko naman magka breakout kasi if you know me, mabilis ako mamula. So yun. But then, nung lumabas yung Blight Cosmetics na to, I just had to buy. And I know this review is kinda late kasi Blight Cosmetics was released last August 14 which I bought no August 14 then via Lazada. Got the package last August 16 but wala akong time mag-film kasi I got super busy with work and yun. So ngayon lang talaga ako nagka-time. Actually, I'm sick right now. Pero yun, vlogging is life. Tinuloy ko pa rin. Anyway, so um, I don't want to make this intro any longer. Let's just get to it. So as I mentioned, I ordered this from Lazada. I only got four of their products and kanina, I opened one already and napawow ako. As in, wow. Pero mamaya ko na yun um, ipapakita. Like, I think that would be the finale para, you know, para exciting. Pero yun, um, I got these products. And as you can see, super cute ng packaging. It comes in pastel colored boxes. Um, I got the face palette, two cloud tints, and one starlight eyes. And I only bought these kasi parang feeling ko ito lang yung kailangan ko. Kasi I don't do my eyebrows naman. Kasi I had this like, natawag dun? Pina semi-permanent brows ko siya before. So okay pa naman ako. And then sa face, I usually don't put anything naman. Like minsan powder, minsan concealer lang. So ito lang talaga yung kailangan ko. Although when I watch reviews dun sa Blight Cosmetics, parang pinagsisisihan ko na sana bumila ka na eyeliner. Even though I don't really put eyeliner. Pero gusto ko yung star na stamp nila. So... Siguro, pag nagustuhan ko to, why not, diba? Let us get started. So, I'm gonna start first with these ones, which is the Blight by Caroline Cloud Tint. So, itong Cloud Tints na to, as you can see, I got two shades. So, the first shade is Haze and the second shade is Mist. The packaging is like this, super cute star sha, which is my favorite symbol. The cloud tint is 195 pesos each. So I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. The first that I'm swatching is the lighter shade siguro muna, which is called Haze. So when you open the box, the actual product looks like this. Ito yung tube niya. When you open it, the applicator looks like this. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. It's super pigmented. So if it's not blended, it looks like this. Then I'm gonna swatch it again. Isang swipe lang. Super pigmented niya. Tapos makikita mo talaga na creamy siya. Parang creamy yung consistency niya. Then when you blend it, super pigmented pa rin. As in, feeling ko a little product goes a long way. Kasi ayan o, oh, nasa kamay ko siya. Feeling ko, ayan. Super pigmented niya. Ang ganda ng color. And um, I'm gonna swatch it on my lips as well. So, I have my wipes here with me. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on my lips as well. I'm gonna use this mirror from Caris. Wow! Super pigmented niya. Ang galing. Ayan, hindi siya parang patchy. It's not patchy or anything. Um, kung may makikita kayo. Dry lang talaga yung lips ko, pero it's not patchy at all. And it doesn't have, like, wala siyang taste or anything. But yun, it is super pigmented. I like it. I think I'm gonna just fix it by using my finger. It says tint siya, pero parang hindi siya tint. Parang more on liquid lipstick siya for me. It's not sticky naman, pero parang penina. Magbasa ka kasi ng description ng product. Hindi yung parang parang ka lang. Nagre-review ka, diba? But I like it. It is super pigmented and 
It's not sticky at all. Super buo yung color niya. Okay, I'm gonna remove it and then show you guys the next cloud tint that I got. Okay, so the next that I got is this one which is called Mist. And I think I'm gonna like this kasi parang brick red shop. Yun yung favorite color ko talaga ng mga lippies. So it looks exactly the same. Same packaging. So I'm gonna swatch this for you guys as well. I like the color. Parang hindi kitang kita sa camera yung color niya. Ayusin ko ngayon, heart. Also, I think this is buildable. Okay, so I swatched two for you guys. Kasi the other one, I'm gonna blend it as well. Ayan, I like the color. Gusto ko yung ganyang kulay talaga. So, as you can see, ayan yung difference. Ito parang brick brown red. Tapos ito parang... Um, my peachy reddish tone siya. Okay, and then I'm gonna apply it on my lips. Wow. Super pigmented. As in, ang ganda. So, sa camera, I think medyo similar yung itsura ng dalawa. But, I don't know, sa mirror, kita naman yung difference. Oh my God, lampas-lampas talaga siya. Pero yun. So, this is 103 Mist. Ayan. Nakakaputi ito ng ngipin. Pero yun, oh my gosh, ang daming lampas. Well, kasi kumalat from when I removed the other lippy. I super like it. I like the color. I'm gonna try to like, bababaan ko yung light. Okay, hindi talaga kita yung totoong color niya sa camera ko. Pero it's super pigmented. And same consistency siya nung... Same consistency. Same consistency consistency siya nung isa. Very buo yung color niya. Hindi siya nagpa-patch. And it's not sticky. It's not drying on the lips. Yun, I forgot to mention, it's not drying on the lips. And cloud tint is a yay for me. Again, the cloud tint is 195 pesos. So, the next that I'll be showing is actually yung kaninang sinasabi ko na napawawa ko. I know this is supposed to be the last one. Pero kasi gusto ko like gawin na parang full face makeup. So, gagawin ko na ngayon. So, the one that I was talking about is this one. It is Blight by Caroline Face Palette. Sa mga previous vlogs na napanood ko, may mga nakita kong nag-review about this product and sobrang natakot ako. So, binuksan ko yung akin and napawuwa ko kasi you'll see, you'll know why. So, this is the um, face palette. So, the box looks exactly the same as yung packaging niya. And then, when you open it, ito yung sinasabi ko. So, ayan, meron siyang apat na eyeshadow, which is like the natural shades. And then, when you open it, tchanan! Ayan! Can it be seen? Yeah. So, as you can see, may parang um, powders from the eyeshadow and may black particle dun sa mismong blush niya. Nung binuksan ko to kanina, I immediately emailed Caroline. And sobrang nagulat ako kasi nag-respond sila agad. Like, nagulat ako. Ang bilis nila mag-respond. And yun nga. So, I asked them para din sa mga nakabili nito and curious or para sa mga may planong bumili, makakuha kayo if ever makachempo kayo ng ganit. Ang sabi nila sa akin, it is normal for the cream blush na mamawis. This is just the separation of moisture and wax due to our environmental heat. Rest assured that this does not affect the quality of the product. This also happens to lipsticks as well and is considered a normal occurrence. The dirt or black particles on the blush, which is this one, kung kita, is because we first assembled the cream blush. So, ito kasi yung inuna daw nila. Since dual nga siya, inassemble nila after yung powder. So, nung trinay daw nilang, um, kasi diba syempre papatuyuin nila yan. When in process of blowing, some powders get into the cream blush. So, ang solution daw nila is they will assemble powders first and then assemble the cream blush to avoid this issue. And then yun, nagsabi sila, thank you for understanding. Which I understand naman. And yun, buti may solution sila agad. Pero yun, so let us get to it. Hindi naman siguro nakakatakot gamitin kasi nag-explain naman sila and this is a review so let's try it. This is the face palette. This costs 245 pesos. Super worth it niya kasi meron na siyang eyeshadow palette tapos meron pa siyang cream blush which you can use also sa lips and sa eyes. Punasan na lang natin yung extra moisture muna. Okay. So let us get started. So these are the eyeshadows. Ako, hindi naman talaga ako sanay maglagay ng eyeshadow and usually ang eyeshadow na nilalagay 
nilalagay ko is mga neutral colors lang din. Kasi, yun nga, hindi ako marunong. So, pag nagkamali ako, sobrang halata. Eh, pag neutral colors, hindi siya gaano kahalata. So, kaya yun yung kinuha ko. I will swatch this for you guys as well. I'm gonna put it then sa eyelids ko to show you guys how it looks like. Although, disclaimer, hindi ako marunong maglagay ng eyeshadow talaga. Pinaglalaroan ko lang siya. Okay, for the eyeshadow, I just got my brush. And let us start with the lightest shade. I usually do this lang. Cringy siguro to sa mga marunong talaga mag-makeup. Pero sorry. The darker one, dito ko sa labas nilalagay. Super okay to, like, kasi for natural look lang. Ayan, no? Hindi nga siya masyadong halata, which is okay with me. Ayan, kita naman na blended siya somehow. Kito siya sa mirror. Medyo lampas, pero ayan. Oh my God, lampas-lampas nga siya. Let us continue kahit sobrang fail na nung mata ko. So for the cream blush, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. This is the cream blush and super moist niya. Parang orangey red siya. So I think ma-achieve mo yung Margaret Mondragon Bartolome look sa cheeks. So, so far, super pigmented din niya. Easily blendable and moisturizing siya. It doesn't have a smell as well, which is okay kasi hindi nakakatakot gamitin. And it also has a small mirror pala. Nakalimutan ko ipakita. Pero yan, may small mirror siya. Okay, so lalagay ko na siya sa cheeks ko. Oh my god, super pigmented niya. Ang dami kong nilagay. Oh my gosh, how do I fix this? Ang dami mong nilagay, penina. You do not. Pero yun, ayan, achieve mo talaga yung marga. A little goes a long way. Konting product lang dapat nilagay ko. Pero ang ganda, super pigmented and parang sun kiss yung look niya. Siguro kailangan <laughs> dapat binawasan ko lang yung paglagay. Nalagyan ko din yung lips ko. Ang ganda nung blush niya, parang siyang sunburnt look, sun kiss look. Kasi ayan o, parang... Easily siya nagsisink sa skin. Actually, ganito yung itsura ko pagkaka-workout ko lang. So, very natural looking siya. Okay, sa lips, try natin. I love it! Super moisturizing niya sa lips. I have dry lips. So, feeling ko, super magugustuhan ko to. Gagamitin ko talaga to. And yun. <laughs> sobrang namumula na yung cheeks ko kasi sobrang dami ko nalagay. Pero overall, I like it. And hindi pa tayo tapos kasi we have one more product left. Okay, so for the last one, the last product that I bought from Light by Caroline which is called Starlight Eye. Of course, it's for the eye. So, para siya sa lids. Um, this is in the shade Cassiopeia. So, when you open it, the product looks like this. Ang cute talaga nung sa cheeks. Parang natural siya sa akin. You do not. You do not. Walang papasok sa school. <laughs> the product looks like this. Sorry, na-distract ako. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. As I said, nilalagay ito sa lid. Kabalang side ko naman siya isa-swatch. So, wow. Wow, it's super pigmented. Ang ganda. Okay. Um, isa-swatch ko ulit siya. Although yung applicator niya, um, I'm not sure kung ba't ganun siya o para siyang mababali. Let's blend yung nasa taas. Ayan. Ooh, it's super pigmented. Ang cute. Super cute na ito pag nilagay sa lids. Although, hindi ko alam kung paano ko ipapakita. Pero since sira naman na din yung eye makeup ko, um, ilalagay ko siya sa inner part ng lid ko. Ang kalat ko lang talaga maglagay. Pero ang ganda niya sa eyes. Easily blendable din siya. Kumalat lang talaga siya sa akin. This costs 195 pesos din. Just like the cloud tint. I like it. So this is the finished look. And kahit magulo yung sa eye part, 
I like them all. So, no regrets for me. Although, yun nga, na-alarm lang talaga ako dun sa itsura ng face palette when I opened it. Pero, nakonta ko naman si Caroline. And I'm super happy na mabilis silang mag-respond sa email. And that's it for today's first impression review. Overall, I super like the items that I bought from Blight by Caroline. So, I'm gonna practice more. And thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope it helped you if you're planning on buying. Go buy. Pero, yun nga lang sa face palette. I hope by the time you guys buy, na-produce na nila yung uunahin nila yung powders before the cream blush para hindi mapunta yung particles ng powder dun sa side ng cream blush. If you guys want to see any more videos, please comment on the comments section. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I post something. Thank you for watching guys. See you on my next one. Bye!